Hey, what's up? I'm back with another video uh, to help you transcribe your video and audio files better. If you're making documentary films or commercial work or anything like that, you at some point have to edit these things down. And if you're editing it, scrubbing through all your video files can take a really long time and not be a lot of fun. Uh, Trint is a software that is uh, online, it's web-based, and it is there to transcribe video files and audio files. Uh, I personally use it with video, uh, as I am a video person. This video isn't sponsored. Trent in no way has a relationship with me. I paid to use the product, and these are my thoughts on using the product. So this is gonna be a little bit of my workflow using Trent, and also like kind of what I've found from using it on the projects I've used it on. So to start off, you have to record a video file, which I just did. Insert playing the video file. So now that we have our video file, we are going to hop into Premiere and I'm gonna show you how I prepare my video for Trent to make my life a little easier down the road. So I have a project open right now. And as you can see, I dropped in that video file. We can scrub through it a little bit here. I'm just going to trim off the excess. Uh, for me, that's where I started talking. Uh, on a commercial project, I would likely have clapboards um, or a scene or something like that in there. So I'm just gonna delete out this excess. Um, Move that to the beginning. Uh, you don't need to, but I'm gonna just delete the extra tracks. Uh, again, don't need to. I'm just gonna export this, uh, but one thing I'm gonna do here is in the effects section. I'm gonna go down and add a time code overlay. Uh, and the time code overlay is just showing the time at the playhead. When I prepare an interview for something like transcription or to cut it away, I sync up all my cameras, I sync up all my audio, and I put all in one timeline. I trim out all the excess stuff, uh, meaning that if I have false takes or extra material, I cut all those out. And then once I have that all linked up and synced, I can edit from that sequence. So then I can work off that one time code. So if I send that to another editor, I can say, oh, at 17 minutes, XYZ said this. And it's always the same forever. Therefore, I'm not pulling from one interview clip and another interview clip. Uh, this is where this time code comes in though because if you have that time code all linked into your video file, then you can easily reference where in the video something was said. You can skip this step, but uh, I think it makes life a lot easier. By having that time code locked into your interview file, anyone looking at and referencing this can all refer to the same time code. In addition to that, um, as you'll see, in Trent, it makes life a lot easier. Even though Trent has some features for this, I think it's an added benefit and something that can make your life a lot easier down the road. So Trent is completely web-based, uh, meaning that there's no software to download, uh, there's no app to install, there's really nothing necessary. You just log into it via Safari, Chrome, uh, Internet Explorer, whatever web browser you use. So this is what the Trent interface looks like. It shows some of your old projects uh, in the middle here. So in the top right, we can go over to Upload, and I can just drag my file right in there, and I can hit Upload. So once you upload, you get this screen. Uh, on the left, you'll have your file name, and in the middle, it'll have your language. Uh, for me, I'd use English and American spelling as I'm American. It has other languages though, as you can see here, quite a few of them, to be honest. So the featured mark detect speaker change. The idea behind that is it can detect two speakers. So for instance, if I was interviewing another person, it would be able to understand and see that there's a change of speaker. And it'll then break them into two different paragraph sets. So it'll be speaker A, speaker B. Pretty interesting feature in theory. However, in practice, I had kind of mixed results. Sometimes I was manually adjusting everything anyways. I would still turn it on if I was to use it in a two-person interview again. However, today, since it's just me talking, I'm obviously gonna turn it off. I don't want it to falsely break things into different paragraphs. So I uncheck the text speaker change and I hit transcribe. So my file is now up in the top and it has a status of transcribing. I found the transcribing process to be pretty quick. Um, I uploaded about a 45 minute file and I think it took maybe a half hour before. Uh, this file is a little bit shorter. Trends pricing is based on per minute of video or per time period. So you pay based on how much video you're gonna upload. Um, one of the things I was pretty frustrated by as a user that doesn't need to use this every single month, the subscriptions are all add features but they're all based on using X amount of time per month. I don't really need that, uh, but I did really want the collaboration features which are only available if you subscribe. So as long as it took me to say that last sentence, it already transcribed my video. So once we're in Trent, we now have our transcription and uh, in the top left, we have a couple of tools. We have find and replace, which you can then search for a phrase and if need be, replace it. We have undo, redo, highlight. This is pretty interesting. 
uh, you can highlight sections of the transcription and then only play back those highlights with this tool down here in the lower left, this play highlights tool. In the middle, we have our text document of showing what uh, is said. And then at the bottom, we have uh, a audio, like a waveform file that we can scrub through. And so as we place the cursor, you can see up top that the text moves. In the bottom left, we have a video preview window. So as you move this timeline around, you can see that the video is updating down there. Uh, in addition to that, we can export an email. Uh, and again, uh, those depend on what level you are at. So let's just give it a try. So first off, let's add a speaker. So I can add my name, B-R-E-T-T. And then to play it, you actually hit the tab key. This is a test recording that we're gonna use in my YouTube video uh, to see how Trent works. Trent is a transcription software used for video and audio files. Uh, so ironically, the first word it got wrong is the word Trent. It said Trent. Now granted, I have a really weird Pennsylvania middle of nowhere accent, but just pretty funny. So to change something, we can easily go in here and double click it. So we could go in and change each one of these Trents to Trent, or we could use the find and replace tool where we type in Trent, and then over here we could change it with Trent, and then we could hit replace all, and it will fix all of them. Uh, now, as you scrub through, you can, again, hit tab at any point to play, testing to see how accurate it can be uh, and also how well it works. So right here, uh, what I said is testing to see how accurate it can be. So I can go in here and add the word it. So obviously this is a really short example. This is only like uh, um, a minute long or something like that. But one cool tool about this is that you can highlight areas of text by hitter hitting the Control H key or clicking that highlight button up top. So to do that, just select some text and then go and hit Control H. Once you have an area highlighted, you can hit the yellow play button in the lower left and it will play back only the highlighted areas. This is an amazing feature. Uh, this saved me so much time finding good areas and then being able to refine them so I could edit quicker down the road. So now back to that time code. As you can see in the lower left, we have the video file. And if you look, it has time code kind of around here in a way. However, it doesn't always perfectly match up to the video file I put in. So what I did was add that time code step so that I can see exactly where it is on my time code, which I found it was a little bit quicker because then I can go in Premiere and type in that time code and find the spot very, very quickly. So you can export files from here. Uh, you can export it in a number of different ways. Uh, Microsoft Word, SRT files. You can export the entire transcript or just the highlights. Um, tons and tons of ways to do this. So Trent's a pretty simple concept. You shoot your video or record your audio and you upload it. Again, as I said, I prepare it with doing that time code step. Not very necessary, but I think it saves a little bit of time. Uh, and then once it's uploaded, their AI goes through and combs through it and just finds all the words it can recognize. I found it to be about 75 to 80% accurate, uh, which is pretty good. I kind of use it as a starting point, not a final transcription. Uh, so it'd be great if you had an intern or an assistant who could go through and clean it up or if you're like me You just sit down for a few hours and do it yourself um, It's a great starting point though and saves you tons and tons of time Because you're most of the way there and then as you're watching through the video You just correct the things that are right or wrong or maybe it's just a smaller project where you don't need to have everything be 100% accurate You're just looking for certain areas uh, and it might be fine and it's 75 to 80% accurate way. So it depends on your project how Trent will fit into your workflow. For me, I use it on long form interviews and projects where I'm gonna be scrubbing back and forth and referencing pieces of a video more and more times. I come from the world of journalism, so a lot of times we're doing lengthy interviews on almost every project. Now in my commercial work and still for editorial clients, I still have to go through and edit interviews down to find the story and find the important parts. Um, Trent is awesome at doing that and it saves me tons of time. I'm saving what would take me hours, I'm getting done in minutes, and then again, going through it, which I'd have to anyways, I correct the errors from there. Could it be better? Yes. But we have to balance perfection with cost. If I were to send this out to an assistant or someone to transcribe it, an actual human, um, I would pay a lot more money to do so. Um, I wanna say I paid 15 or $20 to get two hours worth of footage transcribed, uh, and that was great. It was a great starting point, and then I spent a little while going through correcting what was wrong and pulling out my highlights. 
And again, as we made the second, third, fourth rounds of edits on this video project, uh, I was able to just go back, type in a word and say, oh, that's where the person said this, or that's where the person said that, uh, which is priceless. It saved me way more than the 15 or $20 I paid to have the service done. So this was a quick one. Uh, I hope it was helpful though. I know this software had been mentioned to me and I had never heard anybody used it. So I thought maybe some other people are in the same boat. Uh, if you aren't already a subscriber, please hit that subscribe and that like button. That's how the whole world works now. Uh, so I have to say it, um, but go hit me up on Instagram. I'm a little more active on there and I share some more fun stuff like the work I'm doing, um, but happy to answer any questions in the comments. So please leave them below and uh, I will see you in the next one. Thanks.